So, hi muchachos, it's Anna Kimmerly again today from AK Gallery and today we want to talk about uh, Alexander D. in this video today. Um, it's called Multiplex and it's really it's such a huge thing I have to say, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. We were quite amazed by it already. The more and more Alex talks about and explains his own painting you can totally understand and the name of it makes even more sense. So Multiplex is a painting uh, two meters times six meters but it's in four parts. So you have two times one meter fifty times four, so to say. First of all, I think it makes it even nicer not to have such a big painting at one, but to have it like in little pieces. Not only that it's way easier to transport and hang the paintings once it's sold, I think it has more of a story four different paintings that give you one big painting. And that's also something that Alex tried and he told me about. More that Alex uh, told me or told us about the painting today is that it's actually a component or a mixture of three series that he's done. The first series is the Frizzle one, which uh, we were also about to exhibit. But then this little virus called Corona <laughs> came around the corner. But it doesn't mean that we're not gonna have the exhibition. We just had to postpone a little bit. The Frizzle series is included in the painting the PhD uh, series and also the series of brushes. So from previous videos of Alex you can maybe already tell that he is very obsessed with, with nature, which I also love, honestly. The way he talks about nature, you can tell how he feels. He worked on it for two months so far, it's not quite ready, but Alex paintings are never fully ready, so he always wants to add some more, he's a very much a perfectionist. In the center of the painting lays this figure that he does. He does these figures um, quite in, in quite a lot of paintings, it's become a bit of his sign, so to say. Uh, it was actually pretty funny because the first thing I asked him if the figure is a she or a he, and he said it's it. <laughs> The figure, the it that we're gonna call it, is um, already a figure that he used in previous paintings and the most famous was the Dream of Peace. The figure inside the painting is portraying something that is, that is human, that is animalistic, that is very very natural and is longing for, for peace. Besides the figure, you could also say that the main topic of the painting Multiplex is nature. Nature itself, with all the peace and all the struggles, it can also be the nature of human beings or anything that surrounds us. So he's trying to put a real language into his painting. There's always way more detail that you can find and expect from him. Besides the figure, we have like all these very natural um, components that he also has. He has the mountains, there is water, there is sun, there is the sky. Then on the left side, next to, next to our figure it, we have something like it's a king of the insects and behind him are these burning mountains, which Alex is explaining as nature always being reborn. It's a surrealistic abstraction 
very, very thought through. We can tell that the theme of evolution in nature goes throughout the entire piece of work. The fourth part is urban, it's the city. Even though it's actually night, you see a lot of lights. He thinks that in the night is actually when stuff is happening. It's the, the fear that keeps us awake at night, but the fear is also sometimes so strong that it makes you, it forces you to find a solution and that's mostly happening during the night. I love the city part in the left upper corner. It's a human being probably looking in a mirror, asking themselves what, what is their issue, what is it that they fight each day. There's also a snake in it, which is supposed to show fear. You shouldn't let fear possess your life. But Alex, who also comes from a very tough background and always did a lot of sports. You can already tell that it's always you. You need to face your inner demons in order to win. Alex overtook this theory for his art and that what makes him so individual and so special. Let's talk a bit about the colors of the painting Overplex. I am personally uh, very in love with the colors and the pigments that he's using. He mixes them himself. Alex is planning it beforehand and then he's being very, very strict with himself. He explained it as positive and negative colors. They're very, very strong, they're very intense. He covered them in the end, everything with oil colors. You have this like almost neon effect. The colors that he is using are um, very natural colors also. We have a lot of green, the grass is something that you feel like it's very secretive and you somehow want to see what's behind it and dive in, in a sense. Everything has like a, a second sight in it. What, it. what is alive, what is not alive, when, where do we have movement, where is no movement, where is it even like positive that something stands still. To me personally, it says get in, you know, it's get in and find something, discover me and look what's there. So yes, I think we, had, we were very lucky to see such wonderful painting multiplex by Alexander Dean today and I hope you enjoy it too. Thank you very much.